we're gonna get an official reading of how much water is just in the whole reservoir, including my culvert. These are the chainsaw bits that I chainsawed off of the side, but the water is really clear. I'm back at the camper at the Eco Village and I have some new neighbors. So they're out here clearing out their property, which is really cool. I'm excited. I'm here with Kevin today and we're going to empty out the well for the second time. And originally we wanted to put this on so that I could bring this all the way to the bottom and get the sediment out. But the, the, the hose is just, it's stuck on there and we're not able to get this thing off and we need to put this one in and I need to get a torch to heat it up and I don't have any of that. So we're just gonna put a weight on it. And uh, Hello guys. <laughs> it's Kevin, my beautiful boyfriend. <laughs> so yeah, we're out here. We're just gonna do that today. Real simple, we'll get it done for the second time to see if the water gets clearer and clearer with time. Got a little surprise, a little Friends came out here. Look at that. <sighs> Dang mice. I'm gonna come out here and close out the camper this week. I need to get this pop up back in and uh, you know, just get it all set up for winter. So I'm gonna probably be back this week to do that. But today we're just gonna do the well. So I have to get water to prime the pump. So my solution last time, which I didn't film, <laughs> was to get these, put my rock on the end, and just literally go get water. So that's what I'm gonna do again. It takes quite a bit of water to fill up my pump, so it'll take a, a little while to get these filled up. Wow. Just after one pumping, it's this clear. It's not too shabby. All right, this is what the water looks like. It's pretty clear, actually. Still got a little bit of stuff in it, but it's not too bad. After measuring, there was officially nine feet and a half of water in my three, three foot culvert, which is amazing. I'm really happy about that. So now we're just gonna go pump into the well. We're gonna calculate with the pump that pumps out 264 gallons per minute, how many minutes exactly it takes to fill everything out because there's not only the water that's inside of the culvert, there's also the material that I brought in that serves as a reservoir. And as we are going to be pumping it in, as we saw the first video, there are holes on the side that I did pierce through the culvert and the water flows in as soon as we pump it out. We're gonna get an official reading of how much water is just in the whole reservoir, including my culvert. So I'm really excited to see this. We're just gonna, just gonna time it and I'm gonna show you how it goes down and, and all that good stuff and then we're gonna compare afterwards. All right. Pensez ce bleu. On de la buée. On est bon
7 minutes 30. On s'est même pas rendu au fond. All right, so let's look over the stats, okay? So we have seven minutes and a half that the pump is pumping 264 gallons per minute. That equals to 1,980 gallons that the pump pumped out and we didn't get go all the way to the bottom. At the end, we measured and there was still 18 inches left at the bottom because I wasn't, my, um, my suction, a pipe is not long enough to go all the way to the bottom. So we did measure it at the end and there was 18 inches of water left. There is over 2000 gallons of water in that well, which is well over 7,000 liters of water. We're officially 24 hours later than from the pumping that we did yesterday. So I'm just going to put my rock back in there and measure how much water is in there after 24 hours. Let's see. About six inches there. Eight inches there. Okay. One. Two. Three feet of water in there. And I'm also going to go check the clarity. You can see where the water was on the side right there, right? From up here, it doesn't look too clean, but we'll see. You know, it, it had time to settle down, so it was very clear when I, when I got it out the first time. And this will also tell me, like, how deep I want to put my, my plumbing in there as well. Because if the first two feet or first three feet of water is cloudy and then it has time to settle, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So it was much clearer yesterday, but still not too bad for the first three feet. Good news though, I found a building surveyor so he'll be able to come do my certificate so that I can finally get that document, that legal document to get my permit. So hopefully he'll be able to be out here before the snow and uh, we'll get going on that.